Well, for those of you that watch my videos, I pulled a big loader out of a cranberry bog about five years ago. They just called me up. They got the loader stuck again about 50 yards out. So we're going to take number 15 down and winch it out. Should be easy peasy. Yeah, just now come along the uh, east side of Grand Gamma Farm. They said to pull in the first driveway and it's the first ball on the right. So we should be just maybe a couple hundred yards away right now. It looks to me like it's going to be relatively easy to do. Famous last work, but it just went down the hole. It looks like we can just winch it straight back. It should be pretty darn easy. Let's see where it's at here. There's here. I'm gonna have to have that guy probably take his machine and go get me some planks. I'm gonna have to put some planks down. I'm gonna have to put some planks down for the uh, outrigger. Okay. So we're gonna need like some four by uh, four by six, about maybe eight or nine feet long. You should. It'll come right out. Okay, then. How you doing? Twelves or four by eights, about eight, nine feet long. I'm gonna park my truck here, but I gotta put some cribbing down here. Uh, is that solid? It's not rotten? No. That, uh, we need that, and then one more on top of it. Okay, sounds good. You don't mind if I put this on YouTube, do you? <laughs> it's a good recovery. Oh yeah, you did. Oh yeah. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I, I can take it for you. I got your dad on there. And I don't want to be in it. Oh jeez. <laughs> just either. maybe just a little bit walking down the road. <laughs> okay, then you guys stay out of the line of sight. Then. Okay, okay. Back in real easy. Put a couple big timbers down. Disperse the weight. I'll try a straight line pull. If that doesn't work, I'll do a snatch block and a double pull on it. But it should come right out. confident we had to use a little jitney to pull the cable out to do it by hand it's just almost a improbability here we're going to dig down and find the cable on there goes that phone again 
hills, George Picking. Yes. Yes. Did you send everything to me? Let me double check. Where? Hang on. I gotta get my clothes off. We're out in the middle of a cranberry bog pulling a loader out. Uh, see, I put this. How much chain you got there? It might come back that far. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. okay I'll run it out to you. Okay, guys. Yep. Whew. We pulled the first 20 feet and it was a. I don't know why you didn't hook up that to begin with. We didn't think that. I thought it was gonna pull. Hey, trust me, we, we did the both of it with it. Okay, what I want you to do, I'm gonna put a little tension on it. I'm gonna put a little tension on it. I want you to put it in low range four wheel drive, but I don't want you driving out. I gotta winch that, I gotta tighten that cable up. So let me pull you clear back to here, keep that table tight, okay? All right. Okay, so we just put low range four wheel drive. When it starts to come out, if it's coming out easy, just quit giving it gas, let me pull you, okay? All right. Okay. Just, just, first. just to start with, to get you out of the hole and then let me winch you the rest of the way, okay? Right. Okay. Park. Once you uh, get off to one side or the other and yeah. just, this is recording, just hold it back over there. Maybe over either side here. I was going to get up by that one. Huh? Square. By that gate. Just like Mike told me how to do it. And yeah. Mike, you are still the man. This is Mike Turner's truck that I was forced enough to bring out of California. And when he says this truck's a legend, it is a legend. It is an awesome truck, works like a dream. I'll put everything up. Yeah. 